morning crew so check this out i just wanted to pop in um i'm on my way to campus uh to take my dosage calculation exam once again um you know one thing i pride myself on being is transparent uh i you know i told myself you know, before I, when I first started the YouTube channel that I wanted to give anybody that was subscribed, whether I had five subscribers or 5,000 subscribers, however many subscribers I have, um, I want to create an authentic experience. That's the only way that I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, I don't know how to fake the funk. I don't know how to sugarcoat anything. I don't know how to any of those things i just i'm i'm just not the best with doing that um you know i feel like i want to be a voice or a guide out there uh for people who are unsure about nursing or to people who are accepted into nursing school and have fears because they don't know what's going to happen and they don't know uh how they're going to be able to balance their work and life and and, and how they're going to be able to, you know, stay in nursing school because if you don't make a certain grade, you will be kicked out. And it's like that with 99% of the nursing schools. Uh, so, you know, in saying that, um, in order to clear your doses calculations to be able to, uh, that's the, the mad math, uh, which is the thing that you have to pass and able uh, to be able to pass meds at clinical. Um, it's two parts in the central. The first part is the math. There's a mad math where you have to calculate the body weight and how much you will have to give based off of the order versus what's available and all that good stuff. If you're in nursing school, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not in nursing school, it's not ridiculously difficult math. It's not. It's it's tedious because it's all these different uh, factors and then you're under a time crunch. We have like 20 questions in like 30 minutes at my school. So in saying that, you have to get a 90 because if you think about it, that makes sense. There's only a 10% window, a 90, that, you know, you operate in that 90% window as far as with math and medicine. You know, even the slightest change in, um, even the slightest change in a dosage, whether it, it can be a tenth of a milliliter or milligram, can prove, prove harmful, especially if, when you have drugs like digoxin or uh, Coumadin that have very narrow therapeutic windows, you know. The difference between one ml and 1.2, I mean, one milligram and 1.2 milligram is essentially life or death. So I, I get that part. So I ended up scoring an 89 on my first attempt. You get two attempts. I met with the professor and I was able to see exactly where I made my mistakes and it was the rounding. It was literally I rounded. Um, it, it was the rounding. So, in saying that, I got an 89, so I'm taking it again. And there were a ton, you know, a lot of people who are retaking the dosage calculation uh, exam today. Um, an 89 is not the worst, but an 89 is not passing. You have to have a 90 or above. So, I'm sure that I will secure that 90 today, but I just wanted to pop in and let y'all know that's where I'm heading to. Um, I'm heading to campus to take my doses calculation exam. It's about 7.40. Um, I'll be there in about five or seven minutes. Um, and, you know, just piggybacking off of what I saw, something I saw on uh, social media, it was uh, the nurse, uh, Nicole. Nurse Nicole said on Instagram, she is a DMP student. If I can um, 
I don't know if she still posts on Instagram, but if she does, I'll link her uh, channel down in the uh, description box. I know she definitely is on Instagram and she, she shares her life. But the point of me saying that is that, um, you know, she, I know she had gotten uh, one grade that wasn't to her satisfaction and you have one or two options. You can sit on that bad grade and dwell on it or you can learn from it and move on. I mean, um, a lot of people are probably in the car. I can hear y'all now. 89 is good. 89 is good, but for this particular uh, for this particular uh, skill, it is not it's not um, acceptable. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I'm just getting my mind right. I just wanted to check in. I will holler at y'all later. If you have any uh, questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll be back um, Thursday. Peace. Hey, what's up, crew? So, I actually like to pace when I am... Um, I like to pace when I am studying uh, sometimes. When I'm... If it's something like crunch time so i'm in the hall well i'm all over actually my apartment um pacing <laughs> and going over some of these last things for my uh, medication administration check off it's uh, another one of my big check offs that i have to do um i oh oh my um my dosage calculation exam I got a 100 which was amazing so I'm still in school <laughs> I am still going I'm super excited about that but um, now today I have my appointment time uh, we all have time slots my appointment time I think is like one o'clock you get 40 minutes so one to 140 um, you need to be there 15 minutes early, so I will be on campus at like 1240 and, you know, chill out. But, so pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just going over the different uh, uh, injection sites for intradermal, sub-Q, IM, and yeah, that's it. The different sites, the different uh, needle gauges, um the syringe levels um the volumes for what um the volumes for what should be let me sit down for a second and chat with y'all uh the volumes for what should be like what's the max volume for um a certain site you know because you don't want to exceed that ever um and then i am I went through this morning. They gave us uh, a list of drugs that we were possibly be administering in the lab. And we need to know certain things like uh, the onset, the peak, the... Um, uh, major side effects, uh, contraindications, uh, patient teaching what you should be looking for as far as assessments um, before administering these drugs. So I have all of my drugs tabbed out at the top. Um, and you, they actually gave us the option of either doing a, uh, using your drug guide. Y'all know this is my drug Bible. I've said it several times. I'm not gonna keep, <laughs> I can keep saying that, but this is my drug Bible. Um, and, then uh, you can also use the 3.5 uh, inch note cards. I am going to put, do some note cards, but just like for the um, normal saline and, you know, those things, just to make sure I, um, I know. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to study that, look up some more uh, information just to make sure I have a good flow. I know I'm good with the IV hanging, getting the drop factor. Um, dose calculation isn't going to be an issue. 
I'll probably be getting dressed. It's about, what time is it? It's 11.09, so I'm actually about to take a shower. And um, get dressed. And, I mean, the campus is super close, so. I'll get dressed and then probably head to campus. I may chat with y'all in the car. May not. Just depends on how my state of mind is. But I just wanted to pop in and let y'all know my day. So I will holler at y'all in a few. Hey, what's up, uh, crew? So, same day. Nothing. I just got out of my medication administration um, check off and <laughs> I passed. I'm so happy. I'm listen, you guys. I am always happy uh, with whatever happens. You know what I mean? It was a positive outcome. I mean, you know, I got a good grade and uh, I didn't miss any of the procedures um i my patient is not it, my patient is going to be safe pretty much my patient is going to be safe i'll be able to safely and effectively administer medications now and i will be able to really give actual medications at clinical starting tomorrow so i'm super excited i passed i passed i passed i passed i just want to check in now i have to start getting ready for this farm test i have a farm test on tuesday y'all know how that goes so i am going to um grab some lunch um because i didn't eat lunch it's uh it's about two two thirty and I'm gonna grab some lunch and head home and get on these flashcards uh, for this farm test. You know, I'm just full once again. I will holler at y'all later, either before or after clinicals. Um, yeah, man, you know, I'm about to go to my favorite spot, Chick-fil-A, because I deserve it, I've earned it. Oh, I'm worth it. Let me stop, I'll holler at y'all later. Right? Peace. Hey, good afternoon. What's up, crew? Um, I am in the car. Uh, just left clinicals. And I am on my way to the house. I'm going to ha have a little traffic that I'm going to be in. So I just wanted to pop in and um, just tell you all about my day. It was quite the emotional roller coaster if I can describe it it was definitely uh, amazing nothing negative it just uh, let me tell you where I was at first and then I will um, you know give y'all just a quick synopsis about my day so I was on the I was actually um with the IV team, so um, in some of the nicer, <laughs> bigger hospitals, they actually have what's called IV team, and the, and the IV team uh, uh, starts the um, uh, they manage the central lines, and they. pick lines, they change the different dressings, they just maintain the uh, the health of the different IV lines and all of that. Well, uh, today the nurse that I was with, uh, the IV nurse, she was oncology floor and that really gave me a, a just a deep appreciation a deeper appreciation because I do feel like I appreciate life but you never realize what is taken for granted when you don't have the things like 
just comfort, you know, or being free of pain. Um, I don't know what it's like to be in pain. My worst pain would be what? A hangover or um, uh, I had a tooth that had an exposed nerve that I got pulled. But that, these were all things that were temporary. And I know the pain is temporary, but it's 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 ongoing. It's literally these patients are in pain a lot of times, all the time, and they're so brave and so strong and so um, just so good, you know. I had an opportunity to really just kind of uh, check myself um, and to kind of reorient why I'm doing this and why I chose this field. I mean, I'll tell you a little bit more about me, but let me tell you, I have a 4.0. All my sciences, uh, biology, uh, microbiology, um, my anatomy and physics, and straight A's everywhere. I could have went to medical school, but that's not where my heart was. You know? I didn't have passion for that. I wanted to really care for these people and really love on these people and really just give them something that they desperately need, you know? Um, you know, they say that there's nothing worse than a person in pain. And I really got to see that firsthand today. I mean, there were so many times throughout the day where I was just so overwhelmed, not in a bad way. I promise, it wasn't a bad overwhelm. It just was, I was overwhelmed with emotion. I was overwhelmed with gratitude because I, I was grateful. And I kept looking up to God like, thank you, Lord. Because I have my health, you know? And I have, I'm home, you know? I'm not hooked up to different machines. I'm not getting uh, chemo or anything like that. I'm just, you know, walking, living, breathing, doing my, um, Thing and following my dream and everybody doesn't have access to that and, and and it just put put it in check for me I made the right decision going into nursing um, the thing about it is life is short it's too short to be doing something you're not going to be happy life is short I this is what I want to do this is this is I, I'm I'm happy in this. I'm happy in this experience. I'm happy in the field. I'm just happy, and it, it brings me joy to bring comfort to someone else. I like to serve. I like to, um, you know, care for the sick, the wounded, and. That what that's what makes me happy. What brings me joy. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Uh, Taylor Swift album actually just came out uh, today. So I have been religiously bumping. I bumped it on the way to clinicals this morning, and I will be bumping it uh, on the way home. I'm about to play it now. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in. You know, I will holler at y'all later. And this is probably the end of this vlog. I have a farm test next week. Um, I don't know if I told y'all though, but I passed my. Uh, oh, I did tell. I did tell y'all. I told y'all yesterday. But anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Um, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I will holler at y'all next week. Peace.